Those qualities come from my understanding and study of the Bible and Christianity. 95% of Americans say they believe in God, and I'm one of them. When President Bush talked about September 11th in his speech during his visit to China, he had tears in his eyes. The host of the meeting and also the students who were there should have expressed concern and compassion about the catastrophe. I'm sad to say that no questions or remarks were made. I believe they simply didn't feel the pain because they don't have God's love in their hearts. They can't feel others' pain as their own. All they cared about was the possible armed conflict between China and Taiwan. Freedom of religion is not something to be feared. It's to be welcomed. Because faith gives us a moral core and teaches us to hold ourselves to high standards, to love and to serve others. It's important for an artist to spread God's love Otherwise, his or her artwork will have no significance despite the apparent aesthetic value. A good artist should bring a healthy and positive energy to his society. Wang Yongsheng, a well-known artist in China, once was falling deeper and deeper into a life of sin. I used to change girlfriends as often as I change clothes. Friends around me were all in similar situations. A lot of them were successful artists, but failures when it came to family. After watching China's confession, I finally realized what the Chinese people need. I also realized that my ignorance of love was pretty normal given the circumstances I grew up in. I didn't have too much difficulty in becoming a Christian. After I watched China's confession, I read some books by Liu Xiaofeng. A missionary came to my house and talked to me for a while. I have been a Christian for only one year. I'm still an infant, really, but I pray every day. I also pray for my friends and look forward to meetings on Sunday. Most people in our group are artists. The group is called Artists Fellowship. Every week we get together and talk with each other. I feel at home, very comfortable. It's really nice. Today, the love of God has brought us here. There's a song I can't sing well. How can I sing it well if it doesn't have God's love in it? It won't have any power of spiritual awakening. I used to own a bar. I got drunk every day, and I also used drugs for a while. I was numb about everything. Then I read in the Bible, above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. I was deeply moved. I knew that I'd lost touch with my heart. Right about then, I met my wife in Beijing. In order to date her, I ended up in church, because that's where she was. I was the only Christian in my class, and I started to spread the gospel among my classmates. Many of them also became Christians. Our attitude towards learning and working made a good impression on our teachers. I received the Best Dancer Award in the National Dancing Contest. While I was waiting for my turn, I was praying quietly. I might have appeared odd to everybody else, but I didn't care. <laughs> my attitude is different from before, though the trials and difficulties are still there. I feel joy all the time. The thought of God often brings tears to my eyes. They're not tears of pain, but tears of joy and peace. I think the world is cold, except for the love of God. I feel that God is holding my hand and walking with me, even in the dark. I never feel lost.
I play mahjong every Friday and Saturday night. We stayed up all night playing. Sometimes there were so many people, the entire three floors of my house would be full. I lost 90,000 yuan in six months. One day a sister brought me to church. I'd never felt so good before. That night, I opened up and told them everything about me. I felt as if I was talking with my family. It's a symbol of trust. A lot of us cried when we saw the news of flood on TV. Although most of us come from the Northeast and have no family ties in the South, we still felt the pain. We got together and prayed. Our employees donated 135,000 yuan that night. The Lord loves me and He commands us to love one another. I feel the love and warmth among people here. I no longer care how much money I make or how hard I work. I truly enjoy working here. We have parent meetings every year, mainly to let them see what kind of life their children are living. After they see the changes in their children, they also want to know God. After they go back home, they start going to their local church. We began as a small private business in 1993. It's God's miracle that we've grown to be so huge and successful. Every day our restaurant is overwhelmed. Many people have asked me, how do you get this many people to come every day? And I said, I believe in God. I don't think of it like I'm running a business. It's more like I'm in the business of loving God. It is inevitable that we meet problems or disputes with our customers. But the first thing our employees do is pray. In tears, they pray before God. I also kneel before God and pray every day. And so do my employees. Lord, we would like you to use our young lives in your service. Amen. I used to ask the Lord for wealth. And now I only ask for one thing. Please use me as your tool. It will be the greatest blessing in my life. Mm -hmm.